hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so if you are new here please hit the subscribe button and if you like today's content please hit like as well so this is just a simple flutter project where we fetch jokes from an api so when i click on this refresh um, icon on the app bar realize we get new joke right so the joke consists of a setup and then a punchline so why is peter pan always flying because he never lands right so it's just a joke anytime you click you get a random joke so this is what we build into it's just a simple um flutter joke app um, let's get okay. right into so the i just have a home page um as you can see that's the only file i have here um, and within the home page the home page is just a simple state for widgets and in the scaffold i have nothing there so let's start by creating our app bar which is going to be the bar at the top and we can give it a title so the title is anything that you want to give to your app your, your app right so any title you want to show at the top here you can just put it there in a text widget right maybe for now we can just put joker there as a text and when we save we see the joker text there i also want to have an icon here to the right of the text which we can use the leading right so the leading we put an icon button there and then for now we just put the press function as an empty function and then use the refresh icon so when we save we have this refresh icon showing there for now it does nothing right now we'll be fetching jokes from an api right and if um, i bring this api to the screen this is the api we fetch now jokes from so official joke api dot apps spot.com slash random joke and each time you make a get request to this api you get a random joke so that's what we'll be using in our app right good so in order to get started um we first need the body right because we'll be displaying the joke in the body of our app so just below the app bar i'm going to create a body and i want everything within the body um to have a pattern right the body should have a pattern there's nothing in the body will touch the edges of the screen so i'm going to first start with a pattern and give it a value of 10 that's all around right and within the pattern that's where all the magic is going to happen so we are going to use a widget called future builder right and we when we hover on this builder it just it requires a function which has a build context and async snapshots right so with the help of vs code we can get this function set up and then let's type this snapshot as async snapshots right now this um future builder is what will help us to fetch our jokes so first we can display different um states based on or different widgets based on our states let me put it that way so first we can check if this our snapshot has some data so the snapshot is what is going to bring us the joke data right if it has some data for now we can just return a text that says we have data right and if you don't have data we just want to return um, a circular progress indicator so circular progress indicator that's supposed to be the child of the center widget good and this is not supposed to be a constant so when i move it all the errors are gone also expect a comma there good so now we are seeing the circular 
progress indicator because this future builder also requires something called future that is the function it should call for the data right and now we don't have any function so let's create one under the um, state home page right let's create the function to fetch our joke so i'm going to create a function called fetch joke which is just a normal function right and before we can fetch something in flutter you need a package an external package right so i'll go to my pubspec.yaml file and add a package under dependencies i want to add this package called dio so just uh, just type dio and you get predictions and you choose the version number and then after that you save your pubspec.yaml file so after saving it you will get a prompt right the flutter pub gets is running so after some seconds few seconds it finish running and you should have your package as part of your project right so back to our home page right um this function is supposed to be an asynchronous this function is supposed to be an asynchronous function because whenever you are fetching something it's an asynchronous action we don't know when um, the results will be in and we can await this operation using the await keyword and with the help of the dio package so i've imported a dio package as you can see here right auto imports by vs code we have a get method on it and this get method expects the url of um whatever you want to fetch so if it's a joke um recipes whatever you are working with it just expects the url so i'm going to copy and paste the url here which i'll link in the description so this is the url we are fetching the data from and after that we have to return something so let's first assign this to a variable that is going to be our response right and we want the data from our response so response dot data right that is going to bring us our joke now back to the future builder as i said the future builder expects something called future right and then we give our future function to it which is the fetch joke function good and now when we save this file you see that um, the circular indicator we change from circular indicator we change from um, spinning to we have data which means we've been able to successfully fetch the jokes now how do we display the joke so within um, our if statements here if snapshots has data we can display the joke here but first let's print what we are getting so i'm going to create a variable called joke and then assign it to the snapshot dot data right so this snapshot dot data is the data um, this fetch joke function is returning and for now let's just print the joke and see what we are getting so i will open my debug console and this is the joke i don't know if you can see but it has an id of 167 a type of general a setup and then a punchline right so our joke is basically uh, consists of a setup and a punchline then some ids and type which we want to be using in our ui so let's extract those data right so i'll first create a variable of type string called setup right and set it as to the joke um, access the setup um, of the joke right and i also create same for the punch line so punch line and that will access the punch line in the joke mm. right. so now if i just concatenate the joke here by saying joke and i remove the const then i save you realize we have um not joke i mean um the setup rather so when i say realize we have data and then some text right
so that is going to be our joke and that's what we are going to show in our ui so our ui is very simple as you saw in the introduction video instead of returning a text we are just returning a column right and the column has some children right so within our column we first have these two texts right? so the first text is going to contain um, the setup so setup and then we concatenate the setup we are getting right good and then some size box to give space in then another text so i'm going to just copy this text here and then that is going to be the punchline So when I see if we have a setup and then punchline, right? Let me just put some colon here so that we can actually distinguish between them. Right? Now let's style our text a bit. So I'm going to use the style and then text style. And I want to first increase the font size to something like 17. And then also change the font weight to be bold. Right. to font weight dot bold good and I want to do the same for um, the second text so I'm just going to copy the style and then paste it for the second text so style Now you realize or sometimes the text are shifted to the center. Uh, but I want everything to be to the left. So within the column, I'll use the cross axis alignment and set it to the start. And that will make sure that all the text starts from um, the left side. Right. I also want to center everything within this column. So I basically want all these text to be in the middle of the screen. And I can use that with the main axis alignment of the column. So main axis alignment and set it to center. So, and um, network is unreachable. So let me let me refresh the app. And I think we should be good. Um, network issue. Um, I think I'm having some network issue here, but. Let me try refreshing the app again. Good. Let me refresh the app again and we should be okay. Good, so our app is working. Now when we click on this um, refresh button it does nothing for now so what we can do is in the on press of this icon button instead of just um, fetching the joke directly in the future builder we can create a variable under the build so let's just create a variable called um, let's say future joke and then it sets it to the fetch joke function so that in the future builder the future of the future builder is not going to be fetched joke but then future joke right something like this and it's still going to work exact same way but in the what advantage we have right now is that we can call this fetch joke function multiple times so in the icon button we can set it and we now assign the future joke to a new fetch joke f um, function right so anytime we click on this button or we press on it we are reassigning the fetch joke function that is calling it and assigning the results to the future joke and the future joke gives that results to the future builder and the future builder retains the appropriate widgets based on the state of the snapshot that's our data right so well, let's try that and see if it works we click on the refresh and now you can see our joke has changed right click on another refresh 
and then our jokes keep changing so that's it guys for today thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please leave a thumbs up see you next time